Hey everyone, welcome to Everything Under the Sun, and I'm Taylor Moss, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple, nice looking website that you can make really quick, really easily. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to make is the navigation bar. On any website, that's the most complicated part and the hardest part to fit in, so it would be nice if we could get it done very first, so then everything else can work around that and be a lot faster. So, making it yourself can be a little more complicated for a first time user, so I, what I would suggest is either going to this website, purecssmenu.com, or going to this other menu called cssmenumaker.com. Both of them are free and only ask that you give them a shout out on your website if you ever get pretty popular or whatnot. So, I'm going to use CSS Menu Maker for the purposes of this, and uh, right here, this is a great uh, example of a pretty nice uh, navigation bar. It's simple, got drop down menus and etc. So if we just download the source right here, it downloads the source to our desktop. So we can go right here and extract the files. Alright, so if we open them up um, in Notepad, it will show us. Oh, I should probably open this up in Chrome first. Alright. So if we open this in Google Chrome, it shows that products is the home page just to show you that you can change that. It shows all these different things. But let's make home the default one for now. So if we go back here, you see this thing called ID equals current. You put that on whatever page you want to be different and show the user that they're on that certain page. So if we just move it one up to home and refresh, you can see that it moves over. So there we, there we have that. So now... Um, we gonna pull up this in Notepad plus plus, and um, so now we have this. But I think we're gonna need a nice background. So what we do for that is I have a snippet of code here, and I'll post it in the description below. Um, and basically, it's CSS. So we can see right here that this um, HTML document, which is all generated for us by that website. Um, references this menu style dot CSS we're gonna change the name of that to main and we're gonna have to go down here and rename the actual CSS file main so if we open this in notepad plus plus or notepad you can do all of this in notepad if you want so if we take this up here um, and right up at the top just paste that snippet of code oh did I paste the wrong thing alright well let's copy that again Alright, so if we take all that and paste it, we have our, um, it's a radiant uh, circle. So if we go back to this without doing anything else, just CSS, two lines, we have a nice blue looking background here. Uh, the great thing about it is that it's CSS and not a picture, so you can't ever like, lose the picture and not have a background or anything. So that looks pretty nice, uh, but now I think it's time we need a, like a main content area for people to put their stuff. So if we go down here uh, and just type div, uh, and then div again, and we'll have to name it. So we'll name it uh, class equals, let's say, uh, content. Alright, so we have our div class called content. So if we go back to our CSS, we're going to have to add some style rules for it to be visual. So if we go right here and we do, um, let's say, so dot content, and then we'll have our open and close braces. And so now we can do, let's say, background color colon uh, f -f 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 semicolon, and then we could do. Okay, so now we're going to need some width on it, so let's say 500 pixels, just to start out, and height, well, let's say 500 pixels again. So if we save this, and save this, and go back here and refresh, you'll see that there's this white box area, but it's not in the center of anything really, not the center of the navigation bar or the menu, so we'll need to center it. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to go back here, and we'll need to set our margins. So if you type in margin, um, you can do pixels. So you could do 50 pixels or something. Um, or if say you want it, say you need the left, you could type margin left and have 50 pixels, and it'll put the margin 50 pixels on the left. But for what we're going to do here, we're going to do auto, and uh, we're also going to do that same thing for um, 
margin right. So if you just copy paste that and throw right in there. And let's throw in um, top, but let's not do auto because that would try and center it vertically. Uh, let's just do 15 pixels to that so it can separate it from the navigation bar. So now when we do this, you can see now there's the separation, so it's not right up there touching, and it's centered. And it doesn't matter how big your box is, it'll always be centered, which is great. So now that we have that, um, I think we need to make it a little bigger. So I think the width will probably have to be about 800, and the height will probably have to be 1024. So with that done, you can refresh and check it out. It's pretty nice. Um, the navigation bar looks really good up there. Um, you can have this home navigation thing with the nice radial gradient and the nice content area in the middle here. When you want to put anything in that content area, you just put it right here. Uh, hello, my name is Taylor. And you save that. And if you refresh, it'll be right there. You can center that and all kinds of other stuff. I'll show you guys in different videos if you'd like. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, if you guys want up here in this snippet of code that I gave you for the radiant, uh, these this number that's repeated four times here, that is for uh, the color you want. So you can change the color. Uh, this is just a white that they use. You could have it change from purple to green or whatever you'd like. Uh, the reason why there's two of them is this one is for Mozilla because it reads uh, CSS3 differently, and this is for all other web browsers. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys learned something. Uh, it's a pretty easy, simple website. Um, right down here where this hashtag is, you can change that to links of whatever you want HTTP, forward slash, google.com, uh, whatever you'd like. And that is actually what changes these things. So when you click that, it does. See how it's just going to that pound symbol? Uh, it should be go. Oh, I have to refresh. So, see if we save this and refresh and go down and click this products, it'll take us to Google. Uh, so that's how you simply change all those links, and you can erase them if you want or do whatever you like with them. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something. This is a pretty easy website, very simple, very clean. All right, thanks.